Have you ever wanted to use your suckless builds on OpenBSD? Well, now you can. Today I'm back on the ThinkPad, and this video has kind of been in the making for a while. I don't know, it didn't take me that long to, well I'm making it right now, but it hadn't taken me that long to make it. It was more so just setting it up, getting the motivation to do it, and even just thinking of the idea. I had a viewer reach out to me, he was talking about how to use DWM on OpenBSD, he wanted to port his build over, and when I first started using OpenBSD, it was a little bit strange, I didn't know really what I was doing, I didn't know how to compile stuff, but I figured it out, I figured out what I needed to do, and I decided that I would write a script to basically patch builds, now it's it's not even a real patch, and you're not even really patching with uh, like dot .patch files or even the patch command, it's really just moving make files and stuff around, anyways, Let's not get on that, I'll explain what the script is later. Um, but it's basically going to patch your build so you can compile it on OpenBSD. And let's just get straight into the video and its usage. So the first thing that you want to do is, well, let's look at the repositories that we have available here. So you can see that we have dmenu, dwm, dwm blocks, and st. These are the four things that I have supported right now. If I learn about SL status, maybe I'll patch that as well, but I haven't used it yet, so I don't know anything about it. And you can see that these are all from their official repositories, so I haven't done anything to them. I just cloned them before the video. It took a little bit because my internet connection was being kind of slow, so I wouldn't do it on video. But I have cloned them all, and I'm going to run the script to show you guys what you need to do. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to get this URL and you want to copy it and you just want to git clone and you want to paste that URL in there and so that's done now all we have to do is go into there and run dot slash convert dot sh and then let's say we want to do d menu so we're going to type in d menu here and it'll ask us for the path of the build that we wish to convert let me move this to the master real quick so it asks us for the path and it can be relative or absolute like it says right here so it could be dot dot slash d menu and it will work completely fine as far as i'm aware so let's run that and it says the build at home swindles test d menu has been successfully patched now i probably should have gone and actually i will do that real quick i'm going to clone the repository and show you the error that it shows before so we're going to go to git.sucklist.org slash d menu we're going to clone that make it go a little bit faster whoops and then we'll just say d menu uh linux there we go so we'll go into d menu linux and i'll show you what happens if we try to make it boom errors okay we don't we don't want errors so let's let's get out of here we don't need d menu linux what we want to do is we want to go into d menu and we've already patched this so you have to do is run make and then it's been patched for openbsd and it should make properly i'm not going to install it but install stuff should work just fine because it's simple commands it's not really compiling anything obviously so all we have to do is go through all the other builds i'll just show so let's go into dwm if I make it, you get, I'm pretty sure yeah, it's the exact same error as dmenu. And all you have to do is go into the OpenSuck directory, convert.sh dwm. You can do dot slash dwm. And then we'll do the same thing with st. And I'll say dot dot slash st. And then we'll do the same thing with dwm blocks. I can never say dwm blocks properly. Oops. And there we go, so I'll go back and I'll go into, in order, dwm make. You can see that it compiles just fine. st, one thing I will note about st, you need to run the command do as, pkg underscore add, harf buzz, if you have not done that already. Uh, I do have it, so it should just, yeah, it'll just check and see that there's no updates. Anyways, um, but it should install and then you'll be able to compile. Uh, the st compile is a little bit longer than other ones, I guess, because it has more lines of code or something. I don't know. And then we'll get out of here, and we'll go to dwm blocks, make, and uh, actually you need to, because this is just a uh, vanilla copy of the repository, you need to 
copy uh, actually maybe you need to make config.h or no, you need to make blocks.h uh, you know I'm just gonna do this and then we'll make that okay I'm, I'm sure there's a better way to do that but that's all I can think of right now anyways so you can see that all of these compile you can install all of these all you need is do as make install and then after that you should be good so all you need to do from here is clone your repositories I just use the vanilla repositories but it should work for any DWM repository or DWM blocks dmenu st whatever build that you have just clone it run the script on it uh, it's not irreversible as you can see let's go back into DWM what's needed to change is config.mk so what I do is I back up the old config.mk to config.mk.linux just so in case you want to I mean if, even if you just want to go back to Linux or something get rid of this config.mk and then use config.mk.linux now that's the end of the tutorial part so if you want to click off the video I'm not going to give any more information that you need to use the program I'm just going to talk about it a little bit so I first want to talk about how I actually do this on my system because all of these like config.mk uh, let's look at the diff real quick, config.mk, config.mk.linux, and uh, well, there's a little bit different with these, but basically the way that I do it is I don't even uh, like run the script or anything. I'm going to uh, get slash dwm real quick. Uh, I have a configure script, which isn't like a normal GNU configure script. Basically, um, ignore all this stuff. That was me experimenting with something that was less uh, efficient, I guess. Basically, it checks for the operating system at first, and then if you're on Linux, it'll copy the Linux config.mk from a folder called mkconfig. And same thing with OpenBSD, FreeBSD, Solaris. These are just all the different, um, I guess, like options that they had in config.mk for uncommenting things and whatnot. So I was like, I'll separate them into different files instead of trying to run like a ton of said statements. I feel like this is probably slower than just copying files. I think I can probably come up with a faster method to do this, but do I really need to? I mean, it's pretty much, I mean, it does everything I want it to. Even when I went to FreeBSD um, for that short amount of time, I do not like FreeBSD. But when I did go to FreeBSD, use this exact same thing. And I have this like this for every single, uh... I guess suckless build that I have. Couldn't think of the word for a second. Uh, with this one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, that's config.mk. Maybe it's DWM blocks. Uh, yes, so this one is for make files, and you need a, a specific make file in order to build it on OpenBSD. And you can see that I do the exact same method for checking the operating system before it even compiles the build. So. That's uh that's how I do it with my build. So let's talk about how the script works. Okay, so go in here and we'll go into convert.sh. Uh let's get rid of this real quick. Anyways, and I'll make it a little bit bigger. Probably should have made the text bigger before, but it's whatever. So the first thing that it does is it checks what the first argument you supplied it was. Uh so DWM will obviously correlate to uh, patching your DWM build and then uh, from there if it's not any of these four things so it basically is checking if it's one of these four things then it will just continue if not it will go print the help function and then the help function also handles exiting the program so it just prints the help message and I tell it to see the readme because I was too lazy to type it all out again and then exits and then presumably they will go see the readme however Sometimes people just refuse to read documentation for whatever reason. Anyways, that's another topic. The next thing that it does is it asks for the path, as you could see in the demonstration. And it can be relative or absolute, really, because it's not doing much besides... Uh, well, it reads to make sure the path exists, so I will actually show you guys real quick. If we go into git slash opensec, convert.sh, let's just say dwm put in like some random letters that says directory does not exist, it quits. Maybe I could have it so 
it would ask it again, but I don't really feel like doing that. Anyways, so it reads to make sure that the path exists with this, uh, it's sort of like an if statement, it's more of just like a logical operating operator thing. And then if it does not exist, it prints that statement, exits, very simple. And then from here, this is where it handles uh, your actual input. So if the thing you inputted was DWM, then it runs the com function that I wrote at the top up here, which we'll talk about in a second. And then it takes two arguments, config.mk, which is the file that needs replaced, and then dwm.config.mk, and that is the file that you are replacing the first argument you're supplying. You're using the second argument to replace the file listed in the first argument. So we come up here, and a uh, suck path, by the way, that variable is what was set down here. I didn't say that. That's where, that's the path of the suckless build that you are telling it to patch. Anyway, so you move the file, so you go to the suck path directory, and then you're moving the, let's say in DWM's case, config.mk to config.mk.linux. And the reason this can be uh, relative or absolute is because we're just using a variable for this. And then we copy from the patches directory. This is why you need to be inside of the directory of the script. Anyways, we copy from the patches directory the second argument, which is dwmconfig.mk, and then it's basically just replacing the first one. And we could have done it much easier in one line, just been doing one copy operation, but I wanted to back up this file, the suck path uh, first argument, which is config.mk. And then it just prints out a, a simple statement saying like, hey, it finished. Um, I didn't really put any like error handler in case it didn't finish, or, like it's missing a file, but that really shouldn't happen. And then the read link thing, this is just so it prints out the full path of the build in case you like patch the wrong build and then you're like, no, this is not the way it's supposed to go. You know what I mean? So maybe add on a little bit to that uh, trauma of overwriting the wrong files. Anyways, I think that's about it that I have to talk about here. Um, if you liked the video, make sure to dislike it. You know, I, I like getting the negative viewer engagement. Um, but it, all jokes aside, um, I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers, so thank you for that. And hopefully you found this video helpful. Thank you.